Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first. Chief Minister of the Northern Territory, Michael Gunner, recently visited the remote community of Nulamboy to sign local decision-making partnerships alongside of Yungu region's traditional owners and Aboriginal organisations. The partnership marks a new way of working together to properly recognise and support local decision-making in the Yulnu region. Our partnership signed today will simplify local and regional governance and ensure systems of decision-making for Yulnu people are locally led and ensure Yulnu leaders are at the heart of decisions that benefit your people. It has been a long journey to get to where we are now and particularly the signing of what has been talked about for a long time. As uh, Dr. Gundare said, you know, it's about working together. After all of what we've been through, the time has come to turn the table over and let we be the a driving force right there from the world of The NT government is aiming to reform the structure of Aboriginal communities across the Territory, now with a number of localised government decision-making agreements now in place. Local decision-making is a very powerful, practical way of recognising and respecting traditional decision-making. Today, despite the errors of the past, and because of the errors of the past, we have agreed to work together in trust, in partnership, to do things locally. Because we recognise that what might work on Aliwawa country or Walpuri country might not work on Yolnu country. So we have to do things differently, place to place, people to people. We have some really strong leaders and community members in this region, so this will give those strong voices a bigger platform to be able to decide what happens in community and the services that are delivered for community. My biggest aspiration for these steps forward is ensuring that local people have a strong voice. Uh, we have some really great ideas about how to resolve and solve issues in our communities and not having people come into our communities and decide for us is a big step forward when we're talking about local decision making. Um, people who are living in communities have the on the ground experience, they have the on the ground knowledge and the on the ground relationship to be able to look at what's a better way to deliver services, how can we solve problems in our communities but mostly looking at a, a strong future for our kids. It's creates employment, it's creates opportunity, it's creates partnership, it's creates economic, it also creates individual business that could be built within the community level because it's it's the only way for, to people to be recognised and live the lifestyle of what the, what the whole Australians are living. We're trying to get away from that welfare dependency to build a strategy that could sustain the lives of Indigenous people, to create economic partnership and training and employment, to have a better life towards the future, not this generation, but the generation to come. Now local Indigenous communities are making major local decisions that include local governments, justice, housing, health and education. While considering the youth in the communities, through the negotiation and respectful engagement of the traditional owners and the Aboriginal organisations. Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first.